What we have to remember about the Great Lakes is that the Great Lakes are a glacial relic. They are, the, the water that's in the Great Lakes came from the icebergs, came from the glaciers. It's meltwater. The only new water that comes into the Great Lakes comes in from precipitation. So this global Great Lakes resource depends on places like the Greenbelt to provide it with safe, secure water. So when a drop of water lands on the escarpment, it percolates through that nice green canopy into the green, fresh soils, down into the ground, and eventually emerges out through different springs fresh, clean water coming out of the escarpment, going down into our receiving waters, into our lake. If we took out that green belt and put an urban landscape in there, that drop of water would be on highways and roofs and sidewalks and asphalt and come down into our rivers and streams, degraded and pollute the lake where we get our drinking water and where our fish live. That's where the incremental um, element of the green belt is so important. If we have lots and lots of individuals living around the harbor, there's lots of potential sources for degradation. If we have a nice green space around a water body, like up, up on our escarpment, up in the green belt, then that protects that whole region and all the water that comes out of that region. The green belt serves as a model of stewardship to protect water. So any major city in any country should follow this model of protecting the green space where the water comes from. I think that sends a message to the rest of the Great Lakes region and to the rest of the world that Ontario's got it right. That means our water quality is being protected, wildlife, nature is being protected, our economy is being protected. We protect the best. I, I love it. <laughs>